application? Since we asked. Since it came up. When does a material breach happen? When do we, when does Hooksick say to Manchester that's a material breach? When that material breach, breach occurs. So in September, if we're at 40 and no language arts. Well, I think we went through this. I mean, we've been through it over years and over. ago. Yep. And a material breach invalidates the contract. So you've got to be careful what you wish for, because then you don't have any great petition tuition agreement. A calling material breach, they have 180 days to fix it. So I know a lot of you were not around, but it goes back to actually the May Ginta days that uh, we, we went through this. That's when they didn't have the books and they didn't have the chairs and so on. So, so the material breach occurs when one of those things that they're required in the contract to provide is not provided. Now, do, just because I, I'm not familiar with that part of the contract, do we tell them they're in material breach or does someone else tell them? Oh, no, we have to actually put it. it, it it's, it's a process for it. Okay. And we need to put them on formal notice that we're and not a warning. You're on formal. No, 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 no. Because there was at one point there was a letter that said we don't determine whether it was a breach. Okay. We make a claim that it's a breach. And who do we make the claim to? To them. Okay. They have 180 days to fix it. Okay. If they don't fix it, and we're claiming the contract is in fact breached. Uh, I believe that that goes to the commissioner, the state board, uh, and it would go to the commissioner. And she would make a determination as to whether there were there was a breach. And if there were a breach, she would say the contract has been breached, is null and void and doesn't exist. And think about what some of the consequences of that are. So. I think the time is right to have the assessment. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. yeah the, time, the timing couldn't be better. Um, at the very least, we're geared up, so to speak, to, uh, to respond. Maybe we ask Ken, does he want to join the committee? And you know what, Dan? We it, ask Ken it, it's a different deal if he wants to join the committee. Well, I did tell him that, the, you know, we were, yeah. we may be having a committee. I, I didn't want to say, please join, because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to assume that the board's going to vote for that. But uh, I, I, I think that we need to be able to track that information. And I think it's our due diligence to inform them if we objectively feel there's a breach. But at the same time, we've got to start looking at what our options are. Mm -hmm. So, but I also, I'm just worried that maybe we're getting a little far afield of our agenda item. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to start discussing in great detail matters of high interest that we haven't posted on the agenda. So, but that's up to the, up to the chair, but I, I won't go any further. Thank you. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. No, I, I, I'm only kidding. I don't know if it's part of the charge that David is doing, uh, but I do think it is time for us to study alternatives. I'm not sure that's a committee's job. But I think this board needs to know what its alternatives are for the long term, if there are any. So if it's not a committee, who would it be? Well, I don't want to go too far afield. That might be a discussion. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Just uh, speaking to my charge, my, and, and I'm looking for input. So by no means am I looking, and this is much more difficult job than I thought it was. But uh, my goal is to, uh, to study all high schools that high books at school, high books that high school students attend. So, by that, public. I want to yeah public high school. So I want to gain uh, information on Bow, Pinkerton, uh, Pembroke, you know any of the, the high schools that we have students at that we're paying their tuition. Um, but really, Phil said that's not a decision. I don't see this as a decision making committee certainly, but data gathering and data analyzing maybe to present for the school board to look at because I just found it difficult to try to go back and find information 
And I think if we could get it all in one place where we could look at it in a, in a spreadsheet or a chart and see, particularly with trends with Manchester, I think are gonna be key. Because if there's a trend, that's different than an anomaly. Which an anomaly, everybody in the contract is gonna be accepting that, you know, something happened out of the blue or whatever. But trends, I think, are more what we need to be concerned with. Again, we're, you know, drifting. Yeah, we're drifting. <laughs> so. That was still a tracking, tracking system. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and, and as I get washed up on the beach, having tracked, my suggestion was the first cousin to David's charge. And that uh, at some point in time, you've got to authorize me to start talking to Pinkerton yeah. and Bo to say, that if we were interested, would you be able to accommodate us? And yeah. were when? Those discussions, because your next opt out point is 2016. Not it's not that far away. Yeah. Okay. And can I just add to that, from what Tricia said and you said, it could be sooner than that. <laughs> so I think with the climate, we really got to be kind of knowing what's going on out there because yeah. uh, so 100 days just, is not that many days. Just give me that time. authorization to enter those. It's not negotiations. Those talks, sorry. Yeah. Well, but do you need our authorization? Yeah, I wouldn't do something like yeah. that without the board knowing it. So would it need to be an agenda item for us to get? I, I don't know. I, I don't want to get too far afield. I'm just putting it out there. We don't have to decide today. Um, we don't want to wait too long either. But, I mean, but high school is on our list. Yeah. So talking about high school isn't far-fetched if we're talking about. Well, let's at least get on to that agenda. Okay. I have no problem. I, I, all right. My opinion is not a secret to anybody. <laughs> um, Anyway, the next item, uh, policy, you know, high school, not the uh, school of record requests. We've got the policy uh, included. JCA. And JCB policies. And then you are confirmed for June 5th. Uh, with uh, Gordon coming to your meeting. I believe you wanted them for an hour. Excellent. So that is confirmed. Before we start this, can we make motions at the workshop? Oh, sure. This is, a, then, this um, is a posted meeting. So prior to starting this, I just uh, would like to make the motion that um, Dr. Littlefield begin those um, conversations with the other schools so we can get rolling on that um, if the board is also in favor of that. Second that. <coughs> yeah, informal, right? Informal. Yeah, informal. Informal discussion. Discussion? Yeah, I'd like to um, consider amending that to include the names of the schools that we're talking about, rather than just say the other. Uh, and I don't know if we have to do that right now, or maybe go for those in. I mean, my short list is Pinkerton, Pembroke, and Bell, but I don't know if I'm missing something. Um, obviously, we're not talking to private schools or stuff like that, and I don't think there's anybody else in the range. That, uh, I agree. But we don't have to eliminate Manchester per se either. I mean, can we say all sending, all receiving schools from hooks and students, all receiving public schools, he can talk with them? I mean, well, he does. Well, I will be talking to Tom next week anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, don't have to specifically talk to mention. What I'm saying is, you, instead of naming the school specifically, you know, informal talks with the schools that we send our students to. Well, if that I can, I haven't made an amendment yet, and I don't know the rule, but the reason I wanted to go with the names is so that publicly people could understand more what we were doing because I've had people ask me about their interests. You know, people that don't really understand how it works. Yeah. Or Trinity, why can't we go to Trinity? You know, I mean, so I just think if we spelled out who it is we're talking to, it would be more transparent and, and get everybody kind of thinking on the field. You know, here 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 is the field that we can we can work with. You know, we can't really work with Trinity. <laughs> it, it, this is not 
in our power. That was the only reason, not to restrict anybody, but more to educate people what it is we're really talking about here. Um, so I would amend that motion, I make a motion to amend the motion to include, to talk, informally talk to the schools of Pembroke Academy, Pinkerton Academy, and Bow High School. I mean, we could always expand it if we needed to, or if we came back with information. Oh, yeah. So, sure. I mean, to, yeah. to, to at least so that we can move forward now. Um, go to the amendment. Sorry. Oh, yes, I'll second. And, I mean, I mean, yeah, I yeah. Sorry. Up, so. Second and yeah, liberty of discussion. Because is there anybody else besides those three? I can't think of any. All right, we're in Part discussion. Oh, no, we're in discussion. So I can't think of any, but yeah. we can always add to the list. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, that's what I was going to say. In case, I, I don't know. I I guess we can list them. I think, what if you just put all local surroundings? So, well, I guess there's no one else that we could be considering besides those three that would be too far away. So maybe yeah. we do list there's them. Bedford. Yeah, I think this, this is such a big issue that we've got to take every step with with, with total detail. We've got, we, 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 you know, yeah. this is just the first step that we're even you know, venturing outside the door to take a look at this. But I think we really got to be clear because there's so many opinions all around these issues that if, if, we, if, we, if we aren't clear, people may say, you know, superintendent's trying to make a deal with somebody or, you know, this kind of thing. And I just think that we got to really try to ABC it all the way through because we don't want to, I don't want to have that misimpression by anybody. It, that's what, it wasn't to restrict anybody, but right. if we're thinking there's nobody else, and I'm sure Phil would know, I mean, he's in the yeah. business. So, yeah. um, I, I, I mean, we have a student or two students, I think, at Londonderry, but I don't think that they're really a, a contender. That, that's more of a, a personal decision thing. So. But what about Bedford? Sure. You said Bedford or Gosstown? Gosstown totally might have room soon. Bedford? No, Gosson. Oh, Gosson, yeah. It's Dunbarn and New Boston are looking at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying, you know, that <coughs> I'm just saying, and okay, we, we can always change it or add to the, it. The nice thing to. about those three is they're three schools that hooks that community has demonstrated an interest in. Yeah. Uh, and I also know the schools quite well, and we've got 550 kids. So that's going to limit who can take us. Right. And just to, for a point of discussion, wouldn't it be true, Phil, that if our contract voted with Manchester and we did buy seats at different schools, we could enter into a new contract with Manchester as well as to be one of those schools? We could have a multiple school contract. That's possible. Okay. Just that's why I said to include Manchester in there. That they have to yeah. agree. Well, we couldn't renegotiate. Well, we have that contract. But David, yes. And there's pluses and minuses, but yes. Any further discussion on the amendment? Okay. All in favor of approving the amendment? Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Now have an amended motion. Uh, all in favor of approving the. Can I just say, does it say, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, does it say informal discussions or how, how is it worded again? Just so we. Motion will authorize Dr. Littlefield to begin informal discussions with other surrounding high schools. Amended to say, including specifically Pinkerton Academy, Pembroke Academy, and Bull High School. In favor of approving the amended motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. These are authorizations.